Mr. Jensen? It's Nomad Stanek. Please, please, you must help. Mr. Stanek, how did you... My daughter. They're going to kill her. I gave your friends the slip, and when, when I got to here... Where? The Prakaska district. An apartment complex behind the laundromat. Please, hurry. Got What's going on? Adam, you okay? Those drones... I'm fine. Whoever sent them didn't succeed. Oh, thank God for that. Listen, Janus just called. Versa Life is closing their account, moving everything out of that data vault tonight. This can't wait. You gotta get over there now. I can't. I found the bomb maker. She can tell us everything. But she's about to be killed. What? Shit, man. They're cleaning up Blue Sands. I can't break into a bank. Not by myself. And if we don't do this now, we lose the Orchid. Fuck! But if I don't go to the Prokowska district, the bomb maker dies, and we're back to square one. Your call, man. What took you so long? You need to get in there. What is this place? This is where they're holding my daughter. After I evaded your agents, I followed one of those fanatics, and he led me here. Where is she? He said she was on one of the upper floors, but no one is allowed to go up there. These lunatics are armed. They'll shoot anyone who tries. Oh, what are they going to do to her? It's okay. Mr. Stanek, stay here. I'll take care of it. So many have found their way here. The message is far. If the mother's words whisper into the ears of the children, you're not going to the bank, are you? Like I said, the bomb maker. Can tell us everything, I know. But we're talking about a bioweapon, Adam. Once that vault is cleared out, whatever information was stored on the Orchid will be wiped clean. Gone. Yeah, I get it. Time is the enemy right now, Adam. I hope you reconsider. I hope you find this bomb maker, Adam, because I just watched a convoy of armored vans leaving the bank. Versa Life cleared everything out? Yep. We just lost the best chance we had to find out how to counter the Orchid. I do not think so. There is enough redundancy in the system to stop the full way drop in all the way around the state. Probably nothing.
is he? Where is he? You don't understand. Thank you. Over. Initiated. Access granted. Who's here? What's going on out there? I told you I was not to be dist- Oh my. Come in. Come in and let me see you. How did you get in here? And how did you know to come now? Tonight of all nights, when we are finally ready to answer the call of the Machine God's infinite wisdom. Surely, your arrival here is not coincidental. I'm looking for Alison Stanek. <laughs> of course you are. And you have found her on the eve of her greatest achievement. But do you seek counsel, assistance in your prayers or meditations? Or are you here to join us? To free yourself from this prison of flesh and give yourself to the glory of the singularity. If there is any way your High Priestess can be of assistance to you, I am more than happy to provide. I want to ask you about the bombs you built for the attack on Ruzika Station. Is that all? My augmented brother, Victor, is a brave man, and a great leader. When he asked me to build some of my little ones for him, I was proud to accept. I know Victor. If he's behind these attacks, I'd like to have a talk with him. After our flesh flood oppressors sent one of their dogs to murder Talos Racker, Victor moved his base of operations to a research center in the Swiss Alps. Garm, I believe it is called. Garm? Okay, I got it. That is why you came here? You entered this sacred place to solicit my help against Victor's holy revolution? Traitor! Blasphemer! And I believed you were one of us. I am. I just have a more inclusive idea of who us is. <laughs> then you have become their willing slave. But not I. I have felt the boots of the police, as they spat on me and mocked me for who I was. I could have lain down, like you, but I persevered, and the Machine God has given me my reward. I emerged from the Crucible, enlightened. Enlightenment is a state of elevated perception and wisdom. You seem to be a little short on both. If you were wrong about why I'm here... I bet you're wrong about a lot of other things, too. I admit when you first arrived, I was in the middle of something, and that distracted me from the true reason for your visit. But who could have anticipated one such as you would side with our enemies? 
They steal from us. They rape and murder us. They are animals. And animals go extinct while technology perseveres. Victor is killing everyone. Not just the abusers, but innocent people. People like your father, who's never been anything but supportive and forgiving. Father, such a sweet man. I can only hope Victor's attacks will continue to spare him. Continue? You mean there's gonna be more of them? Well, you don't think I built only three of my little ones for him, do you? I gave him enough to destroy the entire city. Now, if you will excuse me, I must get back to what I was doing before you came. Hey, we're not done here. Allison? Augmentations are the key. The consciousness is all. Cast off the bounds of flesh and blood. Embrace the singularity. Allison, stop! I know what you're doing. I've seen this kind of tech before. It ended badly. You are concerned with our lives. You do not need to worry, brother. Only this physical body will die. Our minds will depart our corporeal shells and merge with the infinite consciousness of the Machine God. This is the Ascension. I would invite you to come with us, but there is no more room. I'm more interested in preventing another attack. What's Victor's next target? I do not know, and it does not matter. I am on the threshold of a new existence. When I become one with the Machine God, the artificial burdens of this physical plane will no longer bother me. Of course they will. Your mind's made up of thoughts and memories. If that's the part of you moving on, you'll be taking all your rage and pain along with you. Good God. I... I had not thought of that. It, it seemed to me that this was my only chance. The world is made up of nothing but agony and suffering, or the futile struggle to avoid them. Moments of happiness are quickly shattered by this reality. The Ascension is our only hope of deliverance. Your church is based on the idea that you're born into this world, you get augmented, you become enlightened, and you ascend. That means there is inherent value in this world. It's where you learn the lessons that make enlightenment possible. Your view of my fate is simplistic. And yet, in spite of that, I feel that I am on the precipice of an epiphany. It cannot be coincidence that you have made yourself known to me on this most holy of occasions. You are a sign from the Machine God that I am to remain here a little while longer. I am not yet ready to ascend. I will spread wisdom to the rest of the world. My job in this world is to stop people like Victor, and I need your help to do that. Of course, my dear Prophet. I am honored to assist you. Please, wait here. Take this. You can use it to defuse my little ones. It felt good for a change, to build something that saves lives instead of taking them. Agent Jensen? Over here. I am under arrest. People's lives were cut short, Allison, because of bombs you made. None of my children will suffer for what I did. You have my word. When you confront Victor, be merciful. Remember, he is your brother. Right. Smiley, Stanek and the rest course are on the way back in now. I need to talk to Miller. He back yet? No, but just a sec. I'll get him on the line. Jensen, you and Fletcher find something? It's bigger than we thought. Where can I meet you? At Chicane's place. 
We're flying there now. Miller out. Jensen, you still got that calibrator on you? If you do, man, I'm ready to optimize that crazy system of yours. I got everything I need now to fix you up real good. You mean the way you fixed me up last time? No, no, no. This is gonna be different, huh? On Vaclav's honor. Just get to the lab, and you'll see. Ah, Shut your mouth, or I'll shut it for you. Disaster. 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 You, you are one of them? I saw your goons again. Why did they take her? She is the victim here. Mr. Stanek, she confessed to the crime. She made the bombs. Hundreds of people were killed. And now she's accepting the consequences of her actions. But they manipulated her! Corrupted her! No. They didn't. But... I'm sorry. It could have been much worse. You're right. I, I know. You did what you could. Thank you, Mr. Jensen. Three. Another one. 